Hello and welcome to the Flourishing Introvert Talks with me, Joe Rawbone. This is the podcast that celebrates the natural gifts of introverts so that we can flourish in all situations. Episode 208, The Case for Incremental Change. There are a few sayings that at best leave me cold and at worst wind me up like a clockwork toy. In other words, set me down and I'll go off like a rocket. Not always appropriate, given my line of work. One of the wind-up sayings for me is, nothing good happens in your comfort zone. Poppy cock. All the things that we're unconsciously competent at, we do from within our comfort zones. And unless we're in highly creative roles, for most of us, that's going to be the majority of our work. I do agree that growth doesn't happen in our comfort zone, but the people who peddle get out of your comfort zone are typically saying get out there into the world of fear and anxiety because they thrive on the thrill seeker stuff. Worse than that, they don't seem to understand that not everyone is built that way and are often critical of we more cautious types. And there's nothing wrong with caution. And yes, I say we because full disclosure, I'm not a fear and anxiety junkie either. I don't know many introverts who are, actually. What I'm focused on is enabling people to grow and develop in a sustainable way, a way that doesn't fill them with dread. The fear and anxiety junkies can find their own personal coach. I'm not for them and I'm okay with that. So, in this episode, I'll be sharing the marginal gain approach to transformational change and why I prefer it to a big bang event and how you can adopt it yourself. I remember being blown away by the success of the British cycling team in the London 2012 Olympics. Under the leadership of Sir Dave Brailsford, the team surpassed all expectations and in a pretty spectacular way. These and similar Tour de France successes demonstrated remarkable transformations in the team and individual achievements, but not in a one giant leap kind of way. I've always been rather suspicious and honestly uncomfortable with the one-off monumental shifts radical changes and dramatic breakthrough type transformations that many think are the only way. I often wonder what happens when the person leaves the stage of the guru in question or leaves the training room. As a trainer and coach with over 30 years of experience, my concern isn't a fleeting or unfounded thought either as I've worked with far too many people who have been promised transformational change with very little to back up the claims and little, if any, support to embed the change. So I decided some time ago that rather than jump on the then very fashionable overnight transformation bandwagon, I'd offer something I knew that was likely to stick. In fact, my strapline for many years has been that I help people make small pragmatic changes that are sustainable yet significant. This is the sticky change that people deserve. Sticky change, as the term implies, refers to a type of transformation that sticks or endures over an extended period. It means successfully incorporating new habits, behaviours or systems into somebody's life or an organisation and ensuring that those things become a natural part of the daily routine or the organisational culture. And others know about sticky change too. Brailsford had his way of turning things around and he applied marginal gain principles. This entailed every aspect of the team and individual's performance being analysed so that small improvements could be made in many, many areas. These incremental changes culminated in unprecedented success and the world had a new perspective on transformation. And I became a devotee. 
So do you feel that the personal change and transformation needed in order to reach your potential or to get that promotion or even manage your personal relationships is daunting? If so, allow me to calm and reassure you with what's possible with a marginal gain approach. When I start working with a new client, we take time to focus on the small incremental improvements in many areas of their life so that they can achieve the significant and lasting transformation in a less effortful way. Here are five of the advantageous aspects of a marginal gain approach, which are important to me and my clients. The first is sustainable progress. I have to start with this one, as you may remember from my strapline, just how important sustainable change is to me. It does require a mindset shift though, as we've become rather too used to a fast pace of life, instant gratification and apparent overnight successes, even if it's not how we prefer to live. As a result, slower progress can leave people feeling discouraged and is the sort of thing that people look down their nose at. With a marginal gain or incremental approach, we start by breaking down your objectives into smaller manageable steps with realistic milestones. You then get to experience a series of small wins that create a positive feedback loop so you maintain momentum, remain motivated and stay committed to your journey of personal change. The next advantage is particularly important to we overthinking introverts because it's reduced overwhelm. Facing the mountain or journey ahead and thinking we have to do it all in one go has most of us retreat into procrastination and inaction. Has that ever happened to you? I know it has the ability to immobilise me. I can feel, sometimes rightly so, that we're setting ourselves up to fail. I'm all for taking an approach that means we're kinder to ourselves. We still need to do the work, of course, but this way we get to look back and delight in how far we've come, despite only taking relatively small steps. When the path ahead seems less intimidating and more manageable, it allows you to focus your energy and attention on one specific aspect of personal change at a time. More importantly, as you conquer each small challenge, take each small yet significant step, your confidence grows, making it easier to tackle the next step. We then get to continuous learning and adaptation, which as a change agent and lifelong learner is really important to me. Remember, life is about experimentation and it's never a disaster if one of these small steps doesn't quite work out. Mistakes can be left on the cutting room floor, reference back to episode 206 in How to Live Without Regrets if you want to revisit it. And we learn the most when things don't go right. Again, we as introverts might need to be kinder to ourselves and remember to keep our inner critic in check when things don't go to plan. Quit catastrophizing, stop beating yourself up and focus on what you can learn. It's through this ability to adapt and refine your approach that you're increasing the likelihood of achieving long-term personal growth and transformation. Now this next one can be a bit tricky as it's building new habits. Sustainable marginal gains are closely tied to the concept of appropriate habit formation. I often talk about this as long-term change is highly unlikely without installing the supporting habits. So it means we look at existing habits and how fit for purpose they are so we can both continue with the helpful ones and create new ones where needed. As James Clear, the author of Atomic Habits says, it is so easy to overestimate the importance of one defining moment and underestimate the value of making small improvements daily. 
The final advantageous aspect is enhanced focus and motivation, something many of us desire. By concentrating on small incremental changes or improvements which feel achievable and relevant, the marginal gain approach enhances our ability to stay on track. One of my listeners shared recently just how important having a blueprint to follow is. Establishing your specific actions contributes to the formation of the blueprint you need to follow, knowing that it will take you to your desired destination and in your own time. Having this makes it easier to avoid the inevitable distractions that lead to wasted time and energy. As you witness and acknowledge the positive effects of your efforts, you'll be more inspired to continue working towards your ultimate destination. Now, I probably can't talk about change and transformation, though, without mentioning the old analogy of crossing a chasm. It was David Lloyd George who said, anything can be achieved in small, deliberate steps but there are times when you need the courage to take a great leap. You can't cross a chasm in two small jumps. So I am mindful that every now and then we need to be bolder in our actions and take a big leap. But it's really not required every time, so don't fall into that trap. So let's be discerning and know what strategy to apply in each situation, which means getting clarity on the destination, being realistic about where you're starting from and planning the appropriate journey map or blueprint. Let's start with some patience. In conclusion, if you're often daunted by even the thought of the big monumental shifts, radical changes and dramatic breakthrough type transformations, maybe your temperament is better suited to a marginal gain approach that works on incremental change. The key is to recognise that small changes can add up to big transformations. As you plan the journey map to your destination, have clarity about the real opportunities for marginal gains and where the only option might be a big leap because of a chasm ahead of you. Continuous improvement may feel like a never-ending journey, but remember, as humans we're wired for growth and change and our journey towards improvement is ongoing. If you're scared of change, whether that's a recent development or it has always been the case, maybe you've never been shown how to change effectively. Do you know what the right steps are for you to take given the change you want to or need to make? And do you know how to plan and take those steps? People who join my Frustrated to Flourishing programme will have the advantage of gaining this clarity before taking their first tentative steps. If this resonates with you, be sure to book a synergy call with me as that's the only way to join this programme. And the final words for me, instead of striving for immediate and drastic change, consider embracing the power of marginal gains and start your journey towards a better, more fulfilling life, one small step at a time. If you enjoyed this episode as much as I did, then please subscribe, rate us and leave a comment because we know that that helps other people find the podcast. And if other people find us, other introverts can flourish.